Hello, Daryl. Happy Thursday. Another week ready to go for exercise with Exos. Yeah. I hope you're ready for the workout today. It's going to be a fun one, as always. Burpees? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's okay. We're getting better at them every time. You're doing great. Um, okay. So today, we're going to be doing two separate circuits. The first one, we're going to go through three times through. We're going to do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're going to do that two times for the first exercise, two times for the second, two times for the third, and then repeat that again. So we're going to do that three times through. And then the second circuit will be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, but we're going to be doing marching. And then we're going to go through that one three times. So I'll go ahead and show you all what we are going to be doing. So we're gonna start off on the ground on our hands and our toes, and we're gonna do some pike push-ups here. So into that pike position, we're gonna bring the head down towards the ground, push away with our arms here. So we're gonna do that 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're doing that for a full minute and then we'll move on. And then we're gonna do plank toe tap. So again, in that plank position, Pushing the hips up, touching the opposite toe, back down, push up, off, opposite toe, back down. And again, 20, 10 for a minute. And then we're gonna do plank knee to opposite elbow. So in that plank position, bringing each knee across our body, keeping the hips down, using the core there. So alternating each side. And again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, two times, and then we'll move on to the top. So we're gonna go through those three exercises three times, two times per side. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second circuit, which is gonna be more of a cardio-based circuit. So all of these movements are gonna be more cardio-based. So the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with skips. So just like our marches, we're, but we're going to double tap. So we're gonna one knee up, double tap on the ground. So skipping here, that's what that's gonna look like, opposite arm, opposite leg. And then we'll march for 20 seconds, kind of walk it out. And then the next part will be a two inch run in place. So we're gonna have a nice little squat here. So my knees are slightly bent, not all the way bent. And we're gonna alternate like we're running. So we're running really quick. So it's like fast feet here, alternating with opposite arm, opposite leg here, not really opposite arm, but like our arms are moving a little bit slower and our feet are moving fast. So that's the two inch run in place there. And then finally, oh, and then after that, we'll go ahead and march it out, walk it out, you know, and then we're gonna go ahead and get on to burpees. So the burpees are gonna be the last thing we do in that circuit. And then again, we're gonna march after that. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. So it's a little different, but also pretty similar to what we usually do. So we can go ahead and get started with a nice warm up today. So we can go ahead and stand up in the top of our space today. And we're gonna start off with the world's greatest stretch. So I'm gonna take my right knee here and release my fingers. Bring my knee towards my chest here. Nice, big, deep breath. And on the exhale, stepping back into that reverse lunge, hands on the inside of the front foot here. And we're gonna exhale, bring that left foot up, or by the left foot, I mean left arm up towards the ceiling. Gazing past that thumb, keeping that back leg nice and straight. Feeling that stretch through the hips. And we're gonna exhale, place that hand on the outside of our front foot, push ourselves up into that hamstring stretch, bringing our body as close to our leg as we can. Big deep inhale and on the exhale, let's go ahead and bring the right foot next to the left foot, squeeze the glutes and stand on up. Awesome, everyone. We're gonna go ahead now and do that same thing on the other leg. So scooping up the left knee, interlacing our fingers, bringing that knee towards the chest. And nice big deep exhale, stepping back into that reverse lunge, hands on the inside of the front foot. While keeping that back leg nice and straight, we're gonna take a nice big exhale, reaching up with the right hand towards the ceiling, gazing past that thumb, keeping that back leg as straight as we can. And we're gonna exhale, place that hand on the outside of the foot, push ourselves up into the hamstring stretch. And we're gonna exhale, bring the left foot next to the right foot, and we're gonna stand on up. 
Awesome. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a hip flexor to hamstring stretch. So this is going to be a little bit quick dynamic stretch here. We're going to get in a half kneeling position. Right, my right knee is on the ground, left foot on the ground. I'm going to sque squeeze my right glute or whatever knee is on the ground. Squeeze your glutes there. Push the hips forward, reaching that same hand above head. Breathing into the front of your hip. And we're going to exhale into a hamstring stretch. So we're pushing those hips back, toes to the ceiling, getting as close to the knee as we can. One big deep breath on the exhale, going back to hip flexor. So squeezing the hips, the glutes, pushing the hips forward, reaching the hand above head. Nice big deep inhale into the belly on the exhale, rocking back into that hamstring stretch. And on the next exhale, we'll go ahead and switch over to the other side. So now left knee on the ground, right foot on the ground. Same thing here. Squeeze the glute of the knee that's on the ground. Bringing those hips forward, reaching that hand above head. Nice big deep breath into the belly. And on the exhale, pushing back into that hamstring stretch. And on the next exhale, back to hip flexor. So we're squeezing the glute. Push those hips forward, reaching that hand above head. Nice big deep belly breath. And on the exhale, into hamstring. And we can go ahead and release, come out of that. And then last thing we're gonna do real quick, get our upper body a little bit more warmed up. We're gonna do a few arm circles here. So let's go ahead and do five big arm circles forward, making as big of a circle as we can. Keeping our core nice and tight. One more and let's go ahead and reverse directions. Now doing a few backwards, nice big circles. And one more. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to get started with the circuit. So remember, we got three different um, exercises we're doing, but we're doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, repeating that twice and then moving on to the next one. Okay, so I'll be walking you through there. Luis did put everything in the chat. So thank you, Luis. If you get lost or you want to see what's coming up next, feel free to check that out. And we're going to get started here on the ground with our pike push ups. And we're going in three, two, one, and go. So our hands are on the ground, glutes in the air, on our toes, bringing our head in between our hands, pushing ourselves back up. We wanna make sure our back is nice and flat, our core is tight. We might even feel this a little bit in our lats as we are keeping ourselves steady. And we're taking a quick rest. So we got 10 seconds and we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna go right back into pike push-ups here in three, two, one. So glutes in the air again, pike push-ups. And so we're gonna do this for this next 20 seconds. And then we're gonna have 10 seconds to get ready for our plank toe taps. Great job. Now this, this circuit is definitely more upper body and core related. Three, two, one, all right, so we got 10 seconds and then we're doing plank toe taps. So it's gonna be a pretty similar movement. We're touching opposite toe, three, two, one. So we're starting in that plank position, shoulder blades are locked in. We're pushing ourselves up, touching the opposite toe and then back into that plank position. Wanna make sure we exhale as we come up, keeping that core engaged, using our shoulders, three, two, one, we are resting, and then we're going to get right back into that. Great job, everyone. Three, two, one. So tapping opposite toes here. Keeping that core tight. Does help if we exhale. As we push ourselves up, keeping that core engaged. Three, two, one. One, all right, 10 seconds, and we're doing plank, knee to opposite elbow here. Three, two, one. So bringing each knee across the body, exhaling as we bring the knee up. We also wanna make sure that our shoulder blades are locked in nice and tight here. Glutes are down. 
three, two, one. All right, take a quick rest. We got 10 seconds. We're gonna do that again. And then we're gonna do pike push-ups. Three, two, one. Now this is a lot of shoulder stuff here, which is why I did 20, 10, so we can take a few seconds instead of doing it for longer and having to take rest periods during that 40 seconds. So we're just splitting it up a little differently today. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds and we're back to pike push-ups. We got two more rounds of this and then we're doing that cardio stuff here. Three, two, one. So butt is in the air, bringing our head in between our hands and then pushing away. Great job, keep pushing. Shoulders can't be too tired yet. Three, two, one. All right. A few more seconds, and then we're going to go right back into that here. Getting ready for more pipe push ups. Three, two, one. Pushing the ground away from us. Keeping those elbows tight into our body. We don't want our elbows to flare out, we want them to flare more back to protect those shoulders here. Three, two, one. All right. Up next, plank toe taps. Great job, everyone. Getting ready in three, two, one. So hands are below the shoulders. Want to make sure they stay below the shoulders to help us again protect our shoulder joints. Want to make sure our shoulder blades are pulled down and back together, nice and tight here. Exhaling as we come up three two, one, quick rest. And then we got that again. And then we'll do plank knee to elbow. Three, two, one. So we're pushing ourselves up, tapping the opposite toe. We wanna make sure when we come into that plank position, our hips aren't coming down. We wanna stay nice and tall here through the torso. One straight line, head to toes when we're in that plank position. Three, two, one. All right. Up next, we got our plank knee to opposite elbow. So we're bringing the elbows across. Three, two, one. Great job. Exhaling as we bring those knees across. Shoulder blades are pulled nice and tight. Exhaling as we bring those knees up. Three, two, one. All right. Great job. We got one more of these real quick and then we're starting back at the top for one more round. Three, two, one. Great job. You know, these ones can get pretty tough on the shoulders, making sure those hands are below our shoulders. Exhaling and activating our core here. Three, two, one. Okay. Guys, you're doing awesome. We got one more round and they're going right into our skips. So plank to pike here. Three, two, one. And I mean pike push ups. Sorry. I was mixing up the first two movements. Great job. Really push the ground away from us with our hands, activating our shoulders. Keeping our back nice and flat here. Oh, sorry, we're resting. It was exactly at 20 seconds. I didn't forget that much. Three, two, one. All right, last, last 20 seconds of this movement. And then we got two 20, 10 sections of our plank toe taps. Three, two, one. Okay. Done with those. We got plank toe taps here. Three, two, one. So hands below the shoulders, shoulder blades locked in, pulled down and back. Exhaling as we come up to keep that core engaged. 
Make sure we're not dipping too low here. Three, two, one. Okay. One more of those. And then we got two more plank knee to elbow. Three, two, one. Keep pushing, you guys. Great job. Okay, I always say we're getting those arms ready for those the tank tops that we're all going to be wearing all summer. That weather is getting nicer. And if you know me, you know I love training shoulders. So, got to add it in. Three, two, one. All right. Last part of this. Plank knee to elbow. Opposite sides. You guys are doing great. Three, two, one. Bringing across the body here. Make sure those hands are below the shoulders. Keeping our butt down. My arms are jello. Where did the almost there? Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, we got one more of those. Great job, you guys. I know this one's really hard. It's probably my least favorite one to do, honestly. Three, two, one. But if we're gonna be really honest, I'd rather do burpees than these. So that's how much I don't like these. But we're doing them. Sometimes we got to do things that we don't like doing in order to get better. Daily, 1% upgrades. Three, two, one. All right. 10 seconds, you guys, and we're going right into skips. So we're going to start those skips up. Three, two, one. So we're double tapping. Opposite arm, opposite leg. If you cannot jump today, you can go ahead and just do marches instead. We are double tapping opposite arm, opposite leg, and then we're gonna march after these 40 seconds. Great job. Get those knees up, keep that core nice and tight. We're just lightly jumping from where we just were. So feet are staying in the same place. Great job, keep pushing, we're almost there. We're gonna march it out in three, two, one. So we're just marching now to getting those knees up. Or if you'd like to just walk it out, walk around in your space, whatever you need to do here to get ready for those two inch run in places. So we're gonna have that slight bend in the knee, rapid fire, move those feet. Three, two, one. So we're quickly moving our feet. Our arms are moving nice and slow. We are gently tapping, alternating our feet here. Great job. I know these can be really tough. We got that slight bend in our knees, like we're running, nice and fast. Great job. Keep that breathing nice and level here. Keep pushing, we are almost there. We only got a few more seconds to go. And then we're gonna march that out. Three, two, one, march it out, you guys. Great job. Now this is like a good leg workout without actually doing any squats. All right, we got burpees. Burpees are next. 40 seconds of burpees, and then we're gonna march it out. And then we got two more rounds of this. Three, two, one, and we, doing burp we are doing burpees. Wow. Make sure you land. Pull it on the ground, nice and soft. If you are not in a place to jump today, you can place those hands on the ground, walk your feet back, and then stand back up. Squeeze those glutes every time. Try and push yourself to do a few more burpees than you did last week. And do a few more each time we do them. So we got three chances to do a few more burpees and get better than we were last week. Great job, we're almost there, keep pushing. Three, two, one, we're marching it out. Great job, you guys. Get some water if you need it. We're starting off with our skips. We got a few more seconds. Three, two, one, we're skipping. And if you're not in a place to skip today, you can always just do marches for this full minute, making sure that we are keeping that core tight, our back is flat, 
opposite arm, opposite leg. Great job. We just gotta pretend like we're playing some hopscotch or something or jumping rope, double dutch. You know, we gotta have fun again like we're kids. Great job, keep pushing you guys. We're almost there. We're gonna march it out here in three, two, one. March it out, walk it out, whatever you need. Grab water if you need it. I feel like I need more of a quad stretch than anything at this point. <laughs> Great job, you guys. We got two inch run in place coming up in a few seconds here. Can you fill it up? All right, three, two, one, two inch run in place. Our feet are barely leaving the ground, just like with those skips. We're alternating our feet, going as fast as we can. If you're not in a place to be doing this today, feel free to do some air squats here. You can even do one and a half squats where you go all the way down, halfway up, all the way back down, all the way back up. It's always a good move to do in place of these. These are just great. It's like we're running without going anywhere. We're getting our heart rate up. We're getting that cardio in. We're getting our legs worked. It's a win, win, win. Don't forget to breathe, everyone. Keep pushing. Three, two, one and go ahead and march it out. All right, we got burpees next. And then we're gonna go through this one more time and then we'll get a nice cool down in and then we can go get some lunch. Okay, burpees in three, two, one. So try and get one, at least one bur burpee than you did last time if you were counting. If you were not counting, just try and get through the whole 40 seconds without stopping. You gotta keep a good pace. Just like running a race here. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Don't burn yourself out in the first 10 seconds. We got a lot longer to go than 10. So keep pushing, keep moving. We're gonna march it out when we're done here. We got one more round. We're almost there. Three, two, one, march it out. Great job. You guys are doing awesome. We're almost done. We got our skips next. Great job. Three, two, one, we're skipping. Last round of skips. Lightly double tapping, keeping those knees up. Core is tight. We're using our core to get our knees up. This is another all-inclusive exercise. Leg work, cardio work, core work. We even move our arms it's like we're hammering the ground here with our feet. We also have arms as hammers as well. So we're punching the ground. We're gonna march it out here pretty soon. Three two, one, go ahead and march it out, walk it out, whatever you need. We got two inch run in place next. Last time doing that. And then we got one more thing of burpees. And then we are going to be done with the workout. All right, two inch run in place, you guys. Three, two, one. So fast feet, slow arms. Looks like we're ducks on water. Our feet are doing all the work by our upper body. You would think we weren't doing anything. It's the way we want it to be. We want it to look effortless, even though it's really hard. Great job. Keep punching the ground, you guys. Alternating your feet, slow arms, quick feet. Quick feet, quick feet. Reminds me like Monsters Inc. when he's like telling Sully to have his scary feet when he's walking into the room. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> okay, great job, you guys. We are almost there. Push hard these last few seconds. Three, two, one, march it out. All right, last thing you guys, we just got our burpees and then we're done. We're gonna do great. This is our last set, best set. Best set of burpees you guys are gonna have all day today. You're gonna get the most. Three, two, one, last round of burpees. Push yourself. Get a little better this set than you were last set. We're getting a little better this week than we were last week. And if we just get a little better every day, 
by the end of the year, we'll be 365% better than when we started. All about those daily 1% upgrades. Getting better. You guys got this. Make sure whole foot is on the ground. Jump lightly. Land lightly. Keep those knees bent. Three, two, one. Oh, and we are done with the workout for today. Great job. Grab a sip of water. And we're going to start off standing for our cool down. If you didn't already guess, what we're going to do, we're going to start by stretching out our quads first because that was a little bit more quad heavy than I thought it was going to be. So when we're ready, we're going to start with a standing quad stretch. So if you need to hold on to something while you catch your breath, grab a chair, grab the wall, whatever you need. We're going to place all of our weight in our left foot. We're going to grab the ankle or foot of the right foot. We're going to pull that foot towards our butt. We want to make sure that our knee is pointed directly towards the ground. I don't want anyone's knees out here or back here. Our legs are together, knees pointing down. So a nice stretch through the front of our quads here today. Starting to slow down our breathing. And let's go ahead and do one more the words. One more big deep breath here. And after we exhale, we can gently release that leg, bring it back to the ground. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg. So slight bend in that left, the right knee, grabbing the left foot or ankle and pointing that knee straight down. We want that core to be nice and tight here. Again, slowing the breathing down. Feeling our bodies relax. Feeling that nice stretch through the quad. And let's go ahead and do one more big inhale here. Holy, slowly exhaling. can gently release that leg. From here, we're gonna make our way onto the ground on our hands and our knees. We're gonna stretch out our upper body a little bit down here. So we are going to, on our hands and knees, we're gonna reach through with the right arm in between the left arm and the left leg on the ground. Push the back of your hand into the ground, pull away with your upper back. We're stretching out our shoulders a little bit here as well as right underneath our shoulder blades. So we're pushing to the ground, pulling away with our upper back. And we're breathing nice and slowly here. So inhaling into the belly, slowly exhaling here. And let's go ahead and do one more big inhale here. Slowly exhaling. We can go ahead and replace that right hand back under our right shoulder. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So left hand in between right arm and right leg, head on the ground, pressing the back of the hand into the ground, pulling away with the upper body. Feeling that stretch right under the shoulder blade here today. Breathing nice and deep, slowly exhaling. Great job, you guys. One more big inhale here. Slowly exhaling. We can bring that hand right under our shoulder again. And you can go ahead and stay there. You can return to seated, kneeling, or standing, however you would like to finish out this class. If that is gonna be 
all the time I have for today. So thank you all for coming. I hope you enjoyed that workout. It was a little bit of a way to switch it up, but we still did burpees. We got better today. So thank you all for coming. Don't forget, we do have one more stretch break today at 2.30 with Luis, as well as abs core and mobility with Brittany. So you get two chances to stretch with us again today. So don't miss out on those. And then don't forget, we are hosting our blood drive from June 1st to June 30th. So sign up on our SharePoint site. And um, thank you all for coming. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and have a nice